Hello everyone, it's Rita, and today I'm here to share with you um, my finished uh, fall junk journal uh, made with a file folder and a brown paper bag. So um, it, I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, I hope uh, that you guys like it too. So to start off, I tried to make a closure. Well, I was trying to think of a closure. And nothing just really looked that good. So what I did was I just had this um, children's headband that I've used before. And I just um, put it on to this, this side like that. And um, that way if you really want it closed, then you can, you know, put that on there. So the book itself has 62 pages. It's one signature. Um, let me check the size because it wasn't made from a regular eight and a half by 11. So it's eight and, um, eight and three eighths, maybe not quite eight or five eighths, eight and five eighths. And then, uh, the width is, uh, six and a quarter. Um, and their spine is just, um, a three quarter inch spine that I put in here. So, um, and then the back is just um, plain and you can see the, the wrapper, um, or the, um, paper bag. You can still see the creases. So I think that give it a little bit of extra, um, texture. So in here we have this little pocket, a uh, little folder thing we made in one of our, uh, my videos. And, um, and so I guess you have to do that. I wasn't sure how I was going to put this in. Anyway, there's a space for writing here. And then I've got a little notebook um, paper here in this pocket. And then this opens up. And I have a journal card in this side, in this pocket. And this was really fun to make. And... Um, it was just made from a book page. Um, there's another pocket here with a journal card in it. Just takes a minute to get them back in because these are a little bit smaller than the... Oh my goodness, don't do this to me. <laughs> Let's just be nice. A uh, little tuck here with a little area for journaling in here. So, that's that little book. Let... And then I guess we need to thread it through here and then tie it, which is not my favorite thing these days. Can't tie like I used to. Okay. It's not quite that tight. Anyway, okay, so here's the inside page. Um, I put this little poem here, um, a uh, fall poem. And then in this pocket we have this little folder that we made out of um, a paper bag as well, but it was a lunch sack type bag. And that was fun to make too. And so in here is a pocket and it has a little journal card. And then on this side, oh, it has a little journal uh, folder here, for places to write. And then um, in here I, have just a little note page that um, I just coffee dyed it and all that just to put something in there for you to write on. Okay. And this is all collaged in the back with old book page. And then this is some fabric that I had that I put on the spine. And then, okay, on this side, this is tissue paper. Um, I needed to fix that. All of this, um, let me just find something to stick in there because I want to come back and glue it. Um, all this paper was um, a mixture of what I had from last year to use up. So I used up everything pretty much. Uh, this was out of an old, um, like a newspaper kind of thing, magazine. And it says uh, automobile, automobile with pumpkins in the back of his truck. And there you can journal there, you can journal here and here. And then Valerie had a great idea for these little tickets to use as a border 
as a um, trim on the edge of a page. So that's what I did. I put those there and then I took, there was one too many, so I took it off and glued it on here and made a little pocket. And this I painted with acrylic paint, gesso and acrylic paint, and then just kind of stamped it. And a little journal card for inside there. Here's a page that's blank. You can probably put a photo or something like that or something you want to uh, put down, but I think you could also just write over that. I don't think it's that, it's not that dark, the um, print. This one's just a freebie page. You can um, add something to it or you can write all in through here. This is another little um, pocket that we made on, on video and this is two little journal cards in here. And this all was made by with six by six uh, scrapbook pa papers. Okay, and then here is a little journal card in this little tuck here. And then there's one in here that fits in that pocket. And then one here. It's a lot of little journaling spots. And then there's one here, a little tiny one. So I think that turned out cute, really cute. Okay, and then I have a paper bag here and inside here I just put this vintage um, lease agreement uh, with the state of Texas for um, the oil and gas uh, rights to that property that they had. Um, so I was going to make a copy of it, and then I thought, you know, I'm just going to put the original in here. I have a lot of these from the same place, or the same uh, documents from the same people. It was like all of it was in an estate sale or something. It was given to me, but I'm sure it was in an estate sale. And then here um, is a little charm we made, and then here's a pocket here. And um, there's a journal card in that. It was a fun one to make. Here's a plain page where you can add a photo or another pocket or a piece of ephemera you have. And then you could journal on the back. And then here's another journaling spot. Journaling, journaling, journaling. Here is just a little tuck from the envelope on the other side. And this is... Um, a copy of a vintage um, stock bonds uh, stock and bond page in some brewing company and then you can um, journal here then over here we have a pocket and this little tag it was a, actually this is an original postcard and if you watch my videos you would see that this was like a cliff here like in New Mexico or something and then the blue sky and I just stamp, um, put tissue over the top and stamped it and then just um, colored it. So um, then here's a journaling page. This pocket here was a flip, uh, not a flip, but a, a folded page that I folded over and put this little journal card in there. Here's one of the leaves that I got from uh, um, non-stop mom. Um, here's another pocket with the journal card in here, and that was cute. We punched holes here and put the leaves in, into the inside. I was, no, I wasn't going to sew around it because I didn't want to sew over the leaves. I don't know if I was or not. <laughs> and journaling here and here, here and here. And then we have the other side of the, uh, tissue paper that I printed on. And journaling and then this is the center page here and I couldn't find anything that I wanted to put on here to go along with this image um, there just wasn't you know I tried leaves and things but it just didn't work this is another piece of original vintage paper it's from 1933 and it was um, like a newsletter for a high school or something like that and so I thought that was pretty cool and you can write on this side. 
and then journaling here. Then we have a pocket here with a journal card. And this is a copy of a, another um, Texas uh, document that was just a copy. And then here we have a journal card here. And I took this book page over and just made a pocket on the side. Here's a little tuck from the other side of that other paper that had a tuck and I just put a little notepad in there. And this one is um, a little notebook that I made and I just put a tie around it. You could um, journal all inside of there. I thought it was just give it a little bit more interest to have this little closure. Kind of a secret pocket. That sits in there. And then here's a pocket here with the journal card. And then you open it up and you have journaling space here and also another journal uh, tag in there. And then this here is a, a clip-on little specimen card and you can journal here, you can journal up there. And I just clipped it in to this section here. And then this one is an envelope let me see this comes off. That's a altar paper clip. And this opens up and you've got journaling inside there. And this is just a pocket that I ripped the top off. Instead of cutting it straight open, I just ripped it so it'd have a little bit more fun character on it. And then this just kind of holds that all in. And you can put other things in there too. This is um, another piece of that paper that was left over at the bottom. So I just folded it over this edge. And you can journal on the back of it if you want. Another journaling page. Here's another um, card we made on one of my videos. And then this was, um, we did the um, paste, the texture paste uh, with a stencil. And just covered that. Journaling, journaling, journaling. This was from a gift uh, greeting card, and I just cut around the design and made a pocket out of it. And this is uh, the journal, uh, the um, tag that I made for it. I think it was really pretty. And then this one I intended for this window to show these people, but it didn't. I did it didn't realize I was doing it until after I did it but I wanted to put a leaf in this window so I put these little um, corners on here to look make look like a photo and then um, encase that uh, leaf inside there and then here's a um, writing board it says right there writing board in there my little uh, stamp there that didn't stamp very well I think I need a new stamp and then this is the last of the book pages and this was a vintage um, cabinet card and I just added some lace and a little bit of uh, leaves and things like that uh, fall sticker designs so that's pretty much it you guys and so this will be for sale on my Etsy not Etsy gosh Rita by Big Cartel and that will be in the the link will be in my description I usually try to put it right at the top so you don't have to to search and this whoops this kind of sits right under here so and that's up to you if you want to keep this on or not it's um just holds it shut so I hope you enjoyed this and the, enjoyed the making of it and how it turned out. I'll go back and glue that one spot that came loose. And um, yeah, so have a great day and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.